How to use an antigen self-test for COVID-19. First, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Place the materials in front of you and read the instructions for use and the quick reference guide with illustrations carefully. Keep a timer at hand or have the timer function on your phone ready. You can pause this video between the different steps. Take the time you need to perform the test correctly. Check the expiry date on the back of the two foil pouches. Do not use the test if the expiry date is passed. Open one of the pouches marked with a 1 along the tear line and take out the test device and the desiccant package. Ensure that the test device is intact and that there are no green beads in the desiccant package. Use the test immediately after opening the pouch. Prepare for sample collection. Now you can open foil pouch number 2. Take out one of the tubes with the liquid and one nozzle cap. Open the seal of the tube carefully without spilling the liquid inside the tube. Place the tube in the tube holder. Blow your nose once using a tissue. Remove the swab from the packaging. Ensure that you only touch the handle of the swab and not the soft pad at the tip. Taking the sample. Slightly tilt your head backwards. Insert the swab with the soft pad at the front into your left nostril. Slowly slide the swab about 2 centimeters forward, parallel to the roof of your mouth, not upwards, until you encounter resistance. Do not apply any pressure. Rotate the swab four times for a total of approximately 15 seconds against the lining of the nasal wall before removing it from the nostril. Repeat the process in the other nostril using the same swab. The sample must be collected from both nostrils using the same swab. Get ready to perform the test. Now insert the swab into the tube until the soft pad is submerged in the liquid. Squeeze the tube at the bottom where the tip of the swab is located and hold it tight. Stir the swab more than 10 times to transfer the biological material from the swab to the liquid. Keep squeezing the sides of the tube while removing the swab to properly extract the liquid from it. Dispose the swab. You can put it back into its packaging for now and seal the tube securely with a nozzle cap. Performing the test. Place the test device on a flat surface. Hold the tube upright above the circular well. This is where you drop exactly four drops of liquid. Gently squeeze the sides of the tube if necessary. Note that the test will still work, even if you accidentally drop five drops onto the well. Set the timer and read the test results after 15 minutes and before 30 minutes have passed. Wash your hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer after performing the test. Interpreting the results. There are two letters next to the result window. C stands for control line. That shows if the test works properly, while T is the test line indicating the infection status. If there is no control line C visible, the result is invalid. This test did not work correctly and you should perform another one. If both the test line T and the control line C are visible, this means the test works correctly and the result is positive. Look carefully. The test should be considered positive if two lines are visible, even if they are faint. A positive test result means it's very likely that you have COVID-19. Please contact your doctor or your local health authority immediately and adhere to the local guidelines regarding self-isolation. Your doctor may ask you to undergo a PCR test to confirm the result. If the control line C is visible, regardless of how faint it is, and the test line T is not visible, it means the result is negative. It is unlikely that you have COVID-19. However, even if your test is negative, continue to follow all hygiene and safety measures. If you suspect that you have an infection, you should contact your doctor. You may repeat the test after one to two days, as COVID-19 cannot be detected with complete accuracy during all stages of an infection.